Welcome to the Arena Space Part 7 and today is like 26 cards or so, the biggest one yet of this Nice Frozen Throne. Uh, I've been gone for like what? Four days? Three days or something? <laughs> you are on vacation, vacation, but like you're gone for like three days and then it's like, okay, here's 20 new cards. Like, <laughs> so anyway, let's get right at it. I'll be able to shorten with some of them then. So I want to make a three hour video. Uh, so first card here then, it's uh, the Play Dead. Which is basically just Fain Dead, right? Fain Death. Fain Death. <laughs> this is called, yeah, that, that, yeah. that one's called Fain Death, this is called Play Dead. So, exact same thing, but you just do it for one minion instead of doing it for other minions. Is that good enough? This card actually is hard to say, I feel, for Extracted, it's good enough because they are showing the new Death Threat minion. Um, Widow, yeah, Widow, yeah. Of course, Widow. They're showing some other Death Minion, Death, Death Minions, right? So there are definitely a lot of new Death Turtle Hunter, or they, they go from that, like mid Death Turtle. So this might be really, really good. If you had like Sylvanas, it would be really good, like trigger the mind control, yeah. But you can't, right? So, uh, hmm. And for the Arena then, I think it's pretty bad, to be honest. It's, uh, most effects aren't good enough, like get a 2-2, two, two, for example, for a 2-3. So paying one man to get a 2-2, two, two, that sounds, I mean, it actually sounds okay, right? But it's like, like uh, but you need to have the minion, that's the problem in the Arena. Like, even that would be decent value, like so on a high man, you get 2 2 to 1, that is really good actually. But in in Arena, you need a death rider. In Constructed, that is not that good. So it's kind of like. Maybe. Maybe in Constructed. Uh, in Arena, sure, if you have like 5 more, maybe death riders. Maybe. And even this other 1 mana cost here, Breath of Sinergosa, I think it actually is pretty bad in everything. It doesn't seem that good to me. Um, so basically, it's 2 damage, right? But it's random, so it's like a flame toy wash, but you also freeze it. So compare that to the orchid shot that Hunter has, which is two damage. That is actually usually a pretty bad card in the arena. It's like an okay card, Hunter, you can use it for face, sometimes for the minion. It's like an okay card, but it's kind of just doing two damage isn't like that good enough usually. It kind of you need almost like the tree is the much better spot for like tree damage. The but for lightning is really bad because the two is something random, three costs to overload two. It's a bad card. Uh, this card to me actually feels pretty weak, to be honest. Even in Arena, Constructed is crap. Constructed looks horrible. Like, two random... Don't... What? what? Yeah. Looks horrible. But even in, yeah, in Arena, even removal in Arena looks bad. Like, Flamethrower was really strong in Arena, when it was, when it was played it. And if you should play it again. And it's like, there's a 4 damage. It's better than Frostbolt. It was random, but you could control it. And then it was even better again at Frostbolt. So that's really good. But this card is like, it's just worse, right? It's just worse than other one mana drops. But it has freeze. It is, this is a bad card. I don't believe in it. Maybe some kind of freeze mage though. And not freeze mage as freeze mage, but like frost the new cold raid. Yeah, perhaps, but it's bad actually. Anyway, this card I think is really good actually. Shed of Ascendant. So it's like a the smith, but it gives you plus one in toughness as well. This is really big for Priest. Priest Uncommon card, I think it looks really good actually. I don't know if it's exactly, but in the arena, I think the card looks very, very good. It's a plus one, one, you know, your minions, like drop a sand in, next thing you drop this this girl, right? You can have four, six, and so on. You can heal him easier, you can better trades. It looks really good actually. Um, yeah, like really good. Also has a two attack power, it's better than Smith usually. Yeah, and one more life than just give one health, right? So, yeah, it's, it's pretty good card, I feel like a good card. A good straightforward card for Priest. For Cracker though, I don't know, probably bad, but for Arena it looks really good. Then we have this card, Desperate Stand, which is like... This is a bad card in Arena. Because it's exactly the same, right, as Ancestral, that Shaman has. But they have one life left that he gets back. So it's used a completely nerf version than Shaman card has. Uh, however though, Mana Paddling, Cross and Paddling decks have, of course, a Divine Shield. So they the Resurrect, they have a Divine Shield. So they can, so I guess, basically can say, okay, it can be a little worse, because Paddling has better cards to Resurrect. Material and so on, yeah, that right, so on, whatever, that shield. Good enough, but for Arena, I think it's pretty bad, because all the card in Arena isn't that good. It, it's okay, like, give something, and then you, yeah, it, it, it can give, like, a trade, and then you get the new buff back, yeah, so it's fine. But, um, uh, this is worse than right? so I think it's a pretty bad card, actually. Might see some like that. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think it's a good day, the one shield, like, it's pretty weak. It's like a redemption, I guess, put it on your turn, one more mana. I guess it's going to be... Decent. Uh, then we have Ice Fishing. Just get two Murlocs. This is horrible, of course, in Arena. Useless. Completely useless in Arena. 
Uh, you have Murlocs just worth it. Like, <laughs> you need a full Murloc. In Constructed, this is bad too. Uh, maybe. Like, I played a Murloc quest deck some, some time. It's pretty good, actually. Uh, but you don't really get two Murlocs. You get a lot of Murlocs. Because you have Murlocs, right? So you have to have some kind of a specific, like, Murloc War Leader kind of deck. <sighs> so I don't really see it. I don't see it happening. No, it's a bad card, I think. Even in Constructed, I think it's bad. To be honest. Maybe some combo would be there, though. But yeah. Roller Bones. This card, right? Roller card. I think it's good. In our constructed though, in arena it's obviously horrible. But in constructed it's uh, it's very interesting because it's like if it's death rattle, you draw it again, right? So it's draw one card for two mana. If death rattle, get one other card, which means you get two cards, probably roughly there. If you have a lot of different minions, so that's great. But it's called it's the same thing again, right? So if you have a lot of different minions in this deck, like a lot of them, you play this card, you get a minion. It happens again. Get another minion. You get two cards. Yes, you, you can draw like you can draw your whole deck here, right? If you have a lot of minions. So yeah, like g given that you play some kind of soft row, whatever, you can probably get like uh, two, three. Spurs. I probably say you probably get like two and a half or so cards of average in a little minion deck. I could see happening. Um, so it's better than okay. That sounds reading for two men, like two and a half card, maybe three cards. So, so like that depending on of course the mid decks, but yeah, that is really good in the arena though. Just use useless right of course. Of course it's very bad in arena. Uh just getting paying one card to get a card in arena is completely dead. Like okay, that is bad in arena as well. Like paying one card to get two cards, one plus one card three mana, that is bad. So you don't wanna do that. And this card will use that be a worse for that right. You just get one card. So really bad card in arena. Really, really bad card. And then this card. Uh Fire's a good no uh, I don't know, yeah, Fall Sun Cleric. It's just a Sun Cleric, but she has uh one one less stat. It's like a, it actually gets a pretty decent card in Arena because Sunker is pretty good. You plus something directly, you can trade, you can survive a trade, you can kill something. Uh, she's cheaper, it's easier to do it, but she does some everything. So I, I think I still actually would prefer Sunker with just one more life there. If she was a 2 2 with this effect, she would be really good because that three attack is that important, but that, that one health is really important. But she does some everything for mage and so on. So probably not that good actually. And I can't see it being maybe so, but I don't think so. Not like a pretty bad card. Anyway, Akis Agony. I think this is a card that people are hating on because it's like, oh, it's just lifesteal on 3 3. I think it looks pretty okay actually. Maybe even in constructed. Um, decent stats. It feels like they are. I don't know really, but they don't do the overvalue lifesteal. Maybe, right? Because like a 3 3, you can have a 3 4 for that with plus. Yeah, Cabal sounds way better though. Let me look at it. But. I don't know, it's okay because they have even if you kill it right with your minion, usually done, it's on your arena specifically, you get three life at least. So this is like a three three for three, get three life. And people say, Oh, but it's worse than four so here. Yeah, because you can heal a minion that that is true. But it's probably heal you like six life if you play it out. So it's not like that bad, I think, to people make this play, but yeah, it's pretty bad. But you can buff it up so on. But I think mainly what people hate this score actually is because it's kinda of boring. It's just a 3 3 for, with life to It's like a decent stat minion with like the new ability the mechanic. This is very exciting. I think that's probably the biggest people have this card. It's kind of whatever. I have to see obviously it's mediocre. No, not like amazing and common card. But it's like common. You need some, you know, food in arena. So I think you'll see actually a lot of play in arena. Because it's just a, like a decent 3 drop. Not a good D drop, like a mediocre 3 drop. Uh, and you definitely deserve They have this card though. Dracar Defender. And people are saying, oh my god, what's going on? What it's. Um, I actually really like this card. Sort of my, my voice that I've been. <laughs> I don't hang over, but I was like, in the morning. Uh, this three, uh, this two eight for three, I think it looks pretty good actually. In arena, though. constructed, like you can hex it, you can pull it. Okay, it gets a premium removal, but yeah, that can happen a lot, and it can die from like Kodo, be steel, <laughs> by Cabal, and so on. Doesn't look very good, but uh, but of course in arena though, if someone hexes it, it's up there or pull him off it, you lost the game, right? So obviously that's the issue. Um, but I don't know. I think actually it's probably it's actually better than Earth Elemental in arena. Seriously, because Earth Elemental has the exact same weakness. You play it out, and if it hexes, you lose the game pretty much. But it has, it's turn five. This is turn three. You may have even turn three if you coin it. So this is a less loose of a game. Like you can. Maybe get that get that back, but yeah, it does cost huge. Like the overlord is insane. But I think, it, but even so, if you coin this turn two, especially if you coin it, yes, you have no turn three. But wow, you can kill any card. Play turn two, one, 
and three and survive and volcano is it really good in arena volcano is insanely good in arena is a great and you taunt me to survive so if you have a volcano at least like to be careful you like it should be really good um i kind of like it it's uncommon i'm definitely gonna pick a few of them i'm comparing it to, to like uh lakari fellhound three eight for one more mana and two cards in the arena. And I think the Corfellan is pretty good in the arena. Um, that one attack does help a lot though, but still, um, this costs one and a mess and you have you know you have only cards left. So would I rather like pay would I rather pay two cards to have no mana next turn? Probably actually. Uh, but yeah, that three attack is um, is a biggie though. So uh, but I think it's probably around the core fell on level in the arena. Probably is probably about the same strength. I think it's a good card in the arena, so not not too shabby actually to pick, uh, I believe. And we have this called Death Speaker, which I think is a yeah, it's like gives something divine shield, um, very stable organ protector, but it's neutral. Two four for three though, the stats aren't that good, right? There's like a uh, would it be a three four? That would be really good. Like that would be wow, like great stats, three million, good ability as a common use it a lot. Now it's like yeah, yeah okay. Basically, what it means is that it's an uncommon though, so you you probably just wanna kill the minions as you always do. Uh, so you don't get the the the, the one shield buff or whatever, right? As a paladin, this is kind of the same thing. So you just wanna kill the minions. This minion here isn't that good, so I think it's like decent in constructed. I or whatever. I don't <laughs> probably don't see it in play. Probably don't see it in play. Uh, then we have happy one. This card looks really good. Uh, yeah, this looks really good. So if you heal yourself as a priest, primarily, it is free, right? And that, that's gonna be good even in arena, right? This is gonna be good in the arena easily. I mean, even in, I mean, maybe yeah, because like it's kind of it's like turn two to hit you, you hit yourself. You can play this three three for zero, so it's kind of like a a smaller little thing there. But, but basically, it is a great card because you can swing the tempo pretty easily, right? So you hit yourself with something, um, and then suddenly you have this guy. So if you have something like Holy Nova, so in the arena, right? A good example there. You do two Emerald, you get the life there, and you can hit. They can play this minion out, so you can remove their minions. You have no mana left, but you can play this for free, right? So it's like a huge tempo swing. Kill like three minions, two, three, three, two, two, whatever. Three, two out, great swing. Similar caution and extracted. So that seems to be great. Uh, caution used to be like true silver. Priest is obviously the best class for it. Uh, but Paladin, pretty good, I think. True silver is very, very good. I mean, you pick, pretty much can have in number of true silver, right? You want to have more than if you can. So that is good. Um, other than that, though, I wouldn't say it's that. Like, yeah, Drew can he's a rogue. Shaman has a few. I really like um, the um, elemental, spring elemental heals. It's a really good card. So, that is good, I guess. <sighs> yeah, but it's like, mm, main, mainly, mainly priest and somewhat paladin. But if you can just have a 2 2, yeah, you just temp out there. In constructed, I think it would definitely see some play. But maybe not in a good deck. People would definitely try playing it. So, kind of, at least, at least a priest, right? So, kind of healing priest deck or. You wanna swing around, or you wanna hear yourself to get like the letter of Narun, yada yada yada, and then you play this card. Yeah, why not? So, it can be a good like minion uh, feeding and so on. Oh god, I bet this card. Scar. God, this card killed my father. This card is so bad. <sighs> okay, the stats of 3 6 for 3. That is great. Uh, this card is so bad. This, this, I, I can't see this card being played. Well, you literally just got a lot of stuff I get request. That's the one thing you can do. Yeah, it's, it's, it's horrible. This is probably, probably one of the absolute worst cards in the game for Arena. Uh, obviously, in, in Constructed, you can play the quest minion, uh, the quest deck, right? Um, that's about it, because otherwise, like the worst minion ever. I mean, it's really, really bad. It's even the effect, uh, I mean, ignoring the effect, 3 6 for 3, that's better than normal, like a 3 4. But that's the only thing it has, it has two more life than many good 3 4. So, it's not even that good, like, it doesn't even have, like, a taunt or... But, like, it doesn't have anything even. It doesn't have lifesteal, wind fury. It doesn't have an ability. It's, like, a little more life for this. That the, the worst... Probably the worst drawback on a card ever seen for Arena. You're just gonna discard your whole hand with this card, right? You're gonna face so many mages. You're gonna laugh at you. You're gonna fire blast this guy. You're gonna lose a card. They're just gonna fire blast you. So, sure, if you play the whole, like, the whole constructed madness discard deck, this might be good, you get this out, you get this thing out, and so on. But obviously you have to have that whole deck to make it work. And even then, I think it's pretty bad actually. Because if you rather play a card of Fellhound, then you get a 3-8. That's two more life points. 
and you get you know you get a taunt minion as well, right? And you still discard two cards, so you can have some control. Maybe you don't discard your whole hand. So it just sounds way better. Like it just sounds way better. And so on, like Doom Guard is a charge. So you can kill something and get you still get some discard. This is like discard your whole hand for like a horrible minion, and this doesn't sound good enough at all, even in the whole discard uh, deck. If every card they had had like madness be played when you discard it, yeah, then it would be good. But like really. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, wow. But for Arena, I think it's probably one of the absolute worst cards. Probably the worst water card list. Or probably that it, it is it is the worst water card in the game for Arena, for sure. For sure. I'd rather play like, Corruption, right? So whatever, yeah. Much rather have Corruption. And Corruption is really bad. Uh, Doom is really bad. Because, like, your whole turn, and you yeah, like, rather have Doom. And it's uncommon. You can see it a lot, and you'll be like, no, no, no. Then, anyway, next card Frozen Clone. I think it's actually a really, really nice card. I like it both for extractor. First of all, arena them. So you play this card, and when they play a minion, you get two copies of the card. That is great, of course, for arena because it means you're playing, you're gaining cards, right? It's much better than drawing. You want to gain more cards. That is great. So you get two cards for one. Uh, so that's good. And if you want to play around it with some battery cry, so on, you get the battery cry effect. And then you get it, but you get later replaced. That's good. It's still weak against them playing like a 1-2 uh, Firefly, or usually from the Ign Ignis uh, Elemental, usually. Ignis, Ignis, but yeah. Uh, play that card, so on. So sure, it's not like, the best card ever, but I think it has some definitely some values. It is being played around, though, as Mirror and as uh, Potion of Polymorph, though. So you people will definitely play around it. Um, so the best card. But it gives, even if you get like a 2 or something, you get two of those, so I feel like even, I feel that even that situation should be pretty good. In Construct, I think it's pretty good as well, actually. You can use Copy there. If, I mean, if you get Copy Legendary, right? Some really good Legendary, and instead of just removing it with like a Poly Potion or Mirror, you get two of those. Less Tempo, but yeah, it, it feels pretty good, actually. This would be a good card. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, tempo, though, why is it? Then Mirror is better, of course. Uh, yeah, then we have this card. Uh, this is like a frozen. Um, it's like the Frost Wolves, but for every class. <laughs> yeah, so it's a two three, and it gives another two three. When you play it, it costs four mana, and Frost Wolf costs two three mana plus two, right? five mana. But it's divided. So I would argue say like three plus two is pretty much like four mana. So it's pretty much costs exactly the same as Frost Wolf, but they're better because they also get stronger. So if you look at this card here, right? Uh, doesn't matter. <laughs> Put it uh, look at this card. It has uh, a 2 3 and you hand buff it. It's like a 3 4, then you get 2 3 4. So it sounds actually really good. And I think Smuggling Runners are, are pretty good in Arena. It still are, even though it's more buffed now with like Dino Size and Spikes. Around. It's a pretty good card. Uh, obviously, this card is really good for Paladin and nothing much else really. I mean, you have to play it in either Paladin, Warrior, or Hunter, right? And Hunter is more Beast. So it's like Warrior or Paladin. You can't really play it like a Priest, so you have to buff it before it's played. It's not like Death Rattle and get a copy of your hand. So it's like, that is no card has, but that could be a card actually. Uh, you know, yeah, like, it is a 7 f 7 become a 7 7 when you die, right? Uh, but this is when you play it, so you have to hand buff it. But even though, even, but I think it's quite pretty good actually in Arena. Even if you can't hand buff it, you just have a 2-3 uh, for 4, like 2 of those. It's pretty good, yeah. It's like, is it better than the, the tower? Pretty much. 2-3, uh, then a 2-2. Two, two. This is 2-2, two, 2-2 two, two to turn away, they can fight earlier. What they've taunt. Yeah, I think it's actually a yeah, like pretty strong card. Even though, in, this is just really strong actually in the arena. You're, you're thinking about it without having any hand buffs. It's pretty good actually. Quite strong. And then if you get the, the hand buffs on it, like you should just pass one and say 3-4. That is really good actually. Yeah, so definitely a good card for it. Especially Paladin in the arena. Um, but also Warriors or maybe Hunter. Um, but even older classes can definitely use it. So it looks really good for those uh, handbox classes. And then we have uh, Rattling Rascal. I think uh, this is a really, I love this card design. Great card design for Blizzard. So you're getting a, um, you play a 2-2 and it gives you 5 fire right away. And when it dies, they get the 5 fire. So it's very reminiscent of uh, Bomb Squad, right? You you do 5 damage, you have a 2-2, and then you take 5 damage. But this is worse. Because Bomb Squad still is like, you, their minion takes 5, and then you take 5, right? So that's not equal what's happening. Here's like a 5-5 five, five for you, 5-5 five, five for them. <laughs> so this is much more, pretty much exactly the same effect, though, after that. Right? So, but I think it looks really good. Even, even in arena, it looks very, very strong, actually, this card. Because you're going to get it out, right? And 
these two to die isn't that easy usually in arena. They have to remove it as a spell if it's like you have the tempo. And that means that you you, you cause a spell for them. They get the 5-5, five, five, but your 5-5 is ready out. You can punch them in face once before. It's a tempo, you can buff it, you can control that. Uh, yeah, it looks really good actually. And obviously, you can evolve it. Um, I mean, on that, on that aspect, it's pretty much the same as Bob's card, right? You can evolve it and you can like take that with pandas. That's great, actually, and those things. But, but it's pretty much exactly like Bob's card. And I think there was Bob's card with this card, right? You, you, you evolve it. So, the shaman's gonna be great, uh, and so on. But yeah, so that, that, that's pretty much obvious. So, you should the exact same playstyle. Um, but this is a good card. And then this card, we have a video. I think it's like. You're gonna see later also having Drew, which is a lot about this post and stuff. This feels. I want to have taunt. I really want to have taunt. Basically, it's like summoning the snail, um, stubborn gastropad. Yeah, they want to with taunt, poison. But they only have poison, they don't have taunt. So it's a, it makes it way worse. Um, they're probably pretty good actually in the arena because it's one. In constructed, it can kind of just remove. You have a lot of AoEs, easily access. Uh, might see some play constructed if this whole poison druid thing is, is a thing, otherwise, probably never. In arena, it's pretty good in some situations. If you have the lead at least, and you play this card on an empty board, so you're a tempo lead, and you play this card, that's really annoying for them because you have to remove both those guys before you can play a good minion, so it's really, really annoying. Uh, but if but it's like an equal board, it plays out five mana, and you can just trade some two or twos into it, three ones, three or three, yeah. That's not good enough, so uh, little of a win more card, I think. And they're very weak against, of course, anything Blizzard, Flame Strike, and so on. So, not that good, but okay, okay, probably. Um, then we have this card, yeah. Uh, speaking about Dreadlord, so his stats aren't that good. He does, uh, yeah, he's like Yeti for one more mana, but his ability happens right away, and that's, that's good to note. His ability is one damage every round, like a thorn damage, but only for their side to begin with. That's really good. It happens right away though. So it actually gives you a lot of trades there. You can play this guy outright, hit with your minions, and then he can like kill off the guys who survived. That is really good. And then his turn, he can hit something for four damage and then does one damage with his ability. So he hit, pretty much hits for five, arguably. So it's kind of like a five-five, mm, you know, with the ability kind of like. So it looks pretty good actually. Yeah, I can fit something off. It's all on the other side, so it's one of the gooder, one good, better, my English, a better um, Warlock removal, which goes for all the sides. So I think it looks pretty well to be used. Um, yeah, but, all, but only like pretty bad. I'm not, not the best card. I think it's like um, 7 out of 10. Better than mediocre, but not fantastic. And in constructed, it is okay, I guess. Demon not have a good synergy or so on right now, so. Next card here. Oh yeah, Skulking Gaze. It's pretty long. I saw this when I was uh, traveling. Um, so yeah, destroy uh, all one cost minion. Very interesting card. It's kind of like playing uh, Hemet, but you only get one well, the, the really cheap cards. It's very interesting. You can definitely see some play in some kind of weak sort of decks where you have very very early aggressive, um, maybe some hunter deck. And then you put this card in the end. Oh, but yeah, but you wanna keep your spells, like you wanna keep your like kill commands, you play this card instead of playing like Nessunwary. Something like that. In arena of course it's just like a 4-6, four, 4-6 six, four, six is really bad. And you probably want your cards left. Well maybe as one that's pretty that, that, that's good. Actually. I read it wrong actually, shit, I read it wrong. I read it now actually, Jesus, sorry. I just saw that now actually, it says it says spells. It says spells. I thought it said minions for these three days, so sorry. Okay, so it says spells. Um, yeah, it makes it even more control. So you can like, oh, I remove my hunter's mark or my arc shots or whatever. Um, mainly paladin. Yeah, you like all your secrets are gone now, so you can't draw your secrets. Maybe if you want that, some I don't know. Yeah, some kind of constructed deck perhaps, but in arena, yeah, obviously you see anyway. But yeah, hum, but especially paladin because you have all your secrets at the one, so you can be like, I remove all of them now. Um, some other like blessing of might maybe some other early things you want to use and so on Divine shields yeah interesting interesting okay there we have bone break um really yesterday pretty straightforward card, i think looks really strong in the arena constructed it yeah even in some kind of priest dragon primarily 
Maybe Paladin Dragon or something. Um, but generally a good arena card. So 6 5 for 6. When the dice get another dragon. The dragons are usually pretty big. You can, get all, you can get legendaries. But dragons generally are, you know, like four drops or higher cost wise. So you pay six mana for a six five. That's good. That's decent. And you probably get another like four to six drop maybe a legendary. So I think that actually looks quite strong. Actually, it's plus one card. Yeah. Good, very good death rattle. Uh, something's worth triggering. Yeah. Maybe you will be playing that new Hunter deck that's coming with cheap deck the cards and then playing that Fane death so you get a dragon in your hand and so on. But probably had that probably has to synergy with the dragon slot, just a good better the minion itself. But looks generally yeah, yeah, like a good card. Oh, oh, oh I like I love this card. I love this card. It was, it was just revealed for the stream uh like an hour ago, maybe even less, I think, just before sort of hits here. Uh, Black Guard, really awesome card. So it's a 3-9 for six, a lot of life points. And when you heal yourself, this guy just shoots the same damage. Like for being healing, 20 heal, 20 for them. Uh, you can't hit the face though, they could kill them with being healing. It looks really strong. I, lo I love playing like Control Paladin, like Fatigue Paladin, so this is great for me. Um, especially them with being healing, but also use True Seed, maybe for 2. Uh, was it more? You generally, um, uh, the Ivory Knight is pretty good. Some more cards like that, yeah. Very interesting card, very, very interesting, especially for that deck, though. That might be for the new legendary we see later here, but it, look, it looks really cool. In arena, though, oh, in arena, it's gonna be bad. A 3 9 with dotting pretty much in arena, so uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there this card, actually, very interesting card, very interesting, actually. First, I actually thought this summoned uh, of like a 5 5 drop from your deck. So you can have like a 5 of some legendary, um, but no, no, this summons and a minion from your deck and makes it to a 5-5. Five five. So it's very, very combo oriented. So it is pretty good because you can summon like your Shara, right? You get the effect right away, you summon a death rattle minion and it's a 5-5 five five, and then something happens when it, of course, really dies. So I think this actually is a card that could see a lot of play constructed because you definitely have some combos going there. And generally, even if you get like, oh, I got my earlier drops, um, no strike clarity, whatever, yeah. I get a 5-5, five, five, not a cleric. It's still something, even in our Inconstructor. So in Arena, then it looks really good, I think. Or not really, yeah, maybe really good is hard to play. In Arena, it's like paying... Okay, no. no in Arena, it's it's like, it better play an Ogre. 6-7 six, for 6. Uh, it's pretty good, though. Like, you, you, you get a guaranteed 5-5 five, five in Arena, and you will... Maybe get some effects. So it depends on your deck as an arena, but you might get some really good effects. But obviously you have less of those like really, really awesome legendaries in arena. So it's like an okay card in arena. It's um, I don't think it's bad in arena, but I think it's okay, uh, like okay level. But it's actually because a lot of play. I think it has some really good chances there. Oof, I have root face. So I'm just gonna do this card here, and then we're gonna jump into uh, the new hero classes here. Uh, so root first, this looks really good in arena, like really good. Six life. Uh, well, okay, maybe you know what? I don't, I don't think it's good anyway. Okay, it's, it's gonna get you probably one legendary. So it's not the best card ever in arena, but I think that getting one legendary, I think that's very fair to say. Maybe to if you have the tempo and you have some enraged stuff, you have to have the whole enraged warrior thing going for you. You probably get like three or four legendaries in arena, but you probably get like one, maybe two. But there still is a lot of value. You know, you get a lot of value there. Uh, so I think I think it's good in arena. Uh, it should be really hard to remove with one attack. Six life is really hard to remove. If you're very behind though, and they have some really massive minions, you get screwed. But I think generally it fits pretty good. You have taunt minion away there. Yeah, it, it seems good to me, but not, not fantastic. But like yeah, seven, eight or ten or so. Seems quite strong. Um, they haven't seen the other legendary yet of a warrior, so. But yeah, I mean, constructed. I don't know. It's a lot of removals. Minions hit stronger. They are more you know, uh, buffs. They're more easy stuff to. I think generally the problem is that if you get some legendaries out there, you get two of this card. So you get like two new legendaries, and I have equality consecration, whatever. I can just kill your board anyway. So even if you had like a really good root face uh, play around, I can be like whatever, just clean your board. But if you play arena, that happens. It's like okay, I'm screwed because I don't, I can't just like remove three big guys so easily, yeah. Or like this guy with this good death rattle, so on. I can't handle that. But uh, in construction, you can. So I don't know if it's kind of slow. But yeah, but I am sure the death knight warrior are gonna have some kind of enraged thing. 
It's a lot of enraged triggers at least. So this probably when you play it in arena, also oh, exactly you can play it and like four or five out away, get a legendary like this. So there is definitely some space to, to at least play it out and rage shit by anything, right? Just play the one one tree uh, in your fire in your rage joint right away or something, you're gonna get at least a one legendary. So in constructed you probably at least always get one uh, extra level legendary point. Probably two, so it could be good. Uh, yeah, and this is the last one before we get the new class here. Ultimate Infestation. It looks really good. It looks, cool. it looks insane in the arena. Even in Constructed, it looks good. Uh, it's like a Pyroblast, Armor, yeah, 10 life, 10, 5 cards, a 5. It looks like. Here's it everything. This card looks pretty fantastic for, uh, for Arena. This is probably one of the best Arena cards in the game. Um, definitely more 10 mana, though. But yeah, it's 10 mana, so it's kind of like. Uh, but Druid has very slow decks, a lot of time minions. Not hard to get turn 10. It looks insane, right? You you, you kill something, both face or minion, so you can kill a minion. So pile best in that. Uh, pile best face, hard power, pile best, or like file and portal. You get five armors, you get some life back yourself, you get five cards. So it gives you the whole, you know, you have a but And you have a five five, yeah. So it's a file and portal, uh, and sprint, and some life gain, and you, you can kill them. So it's like. It does everything. It, it, it is worth 10 mana by far. This is like a 20 mana page. It's like, no, but this looks really, really insane. It's, it's, it's probably way, way better than Pirate Breast. Pirate Breast finish them off sometimes. Uh, okay, it's a big minion. This is like, wow, just like everything. <laughs> so, and Ruby is one of the best classes to survive stuff. I would say Paladin is the best, and it's like pretty sad. It's Ruby is pretty good at surviving. Uh, so, again, turn 10 it shouldn't be that hard. So yeah, it looks really good. For Constructor, I don't know, it's very, very slow. But even the drawing five cards is gigantic and so on. You get some life, so yeah. You probably see some play at least. It, it looks really insane. And then we have the new Druid um, Hero class. Uh, and we can see the name here, the Pestilence. There's a lot of Pestilence thing here. It's confirmed that you get both of them if you have a Malfurion. One of my favorite cards. Uh, Stormers, I mean. Um, you just got Fan Roll, I mean, yeah. His name is uh, Malfuro Stormers, yeah. If you have fan roll, you get both these effects. Um, this is basically the same card again we saw earlier. You're summoning two spiders. They don't have taunt, they are the one tubes with poisonous. Or they are the one fights with taunt. Um, I think that's pretty bad. If you look at the ability, I think it's pretty bad as well, I suppose. Um, the Plague Lord. So it's. Uh, you hit either three harder or you get three armor. And already if it's kind of weird that you don't get like, that you don't get, you know, plus three attack and one armor. So you actually get a little weak, weaker here. So you can't always just get armor and attack. Uh, you have to pick, getting three armors is very weak, it's just a little better than warrior. Um, it's a way to get the best to call through, uh, to work, I guess, but yeah, it looks, it looks weak, I think. It looks weak. I think it actually looks like the worst that night. It's a sh one of the cheaper or seven, but like the the the, the shaman is great and so on. M maybe you can combine. I don't know. It looks weak to me. In, in arena, it looks really weak. All right, you you just get like you, in arena, you probably pick the one twos, and then you get to hit a little harder, so you can kill yourself. The normal is useless. So um, yeah, this is definitely I would say the worst legendary at least of the death max for arena by far. Maybe some. So that would be good, but in arena it looks really bad. Uh, but yeah, you get you get both, I guess, if you have fan of this one. So, <laughs> woo, woo. Okay, then we have uh, Odin. Um, yeah, Shadow Shadow Reap. He looks he looks crazy. <laughs> he looks. Oh god, this image looks weird in him. Uh, maybe golden. Maybe golden would be really cool. Anyway, his ability. That's so much better than the druid one. This is so much better than the druid one. This just kills all the minions with high attack power, right? Including yours, though. Uh, but yeah, this just kills everything. This is even good in the arena. This is called a good arena card, just from that alone. This is actually one of the best arena cards. I would say this probably has... Shaman is, seems to be insane, I think, in the arena. That is probably... Uh, I'm going to the top 9 list later on. We'll see all of them and, and compare them in the arena. But I think that Shaman is the best one, probably. Um, this is probably the second best. What happens? This is probably the, the second, the best one generally. Uh, if you're behind and so on, with other one like two damage. This is really good. Yeah, like you, you kill your whole board that has big minions. You can, you can play this guy at turn eight, 
I was like, oh, I kill you all, War Golem, or I kill this thing, or I kill you, Iron Box, or so you kill like two, three big guys, they can really change the game. It looks, it looks really strong, actually. Use from that alone. Use, from the, use that. And then the ability is makes your healing, well, attack instead. So it's like, yeah, that's a pretty good ability. So it's like two damage here, right? You get the, the classic thing, you get the, the reverse thing, so your heal is now set damage. However, you can never heal again. So it's a little worse than uh, playing like Soul Prison and Dive with her and so on. But generally, this is like getting a big fire blast, right? And if you play a car, it uses it again. So in arena, you can play a sheep, shoot something, play a sheep minion, which you usually can in arena, right? Put a lot of minions, which many of them are sheep, have a curve, and then you play this again. So it looks pretty good, actually. So you kill your big guys. I think it's actually one of the better uh, arena uh, death maps you've seen, just for the first ability alone. Because this thing will easily kill at least one big guy, right? So you play this out, and you have one big guy out, and you get you, you kill it. And then you kill the small guys, or a medium size, pretty easily. So it looks quite strong. In Constructed, yeah, the ability is still... The ability when you play him is still really strong, yeah. The board wipe thing is great. Kill the Yates and so on, it looks fantastic. But this thing, I feel like, is pretty bad, Void Form. I guess you could play some kind of aggressive tempo uh, Shadow Priest with very sh cheap minions, so you don't die from the bit anyway. You play this guy, you can shoot him in the face, play ship guy, face, ship guy, face, and you get like a lot of damage down. That could be something. I think it's something like that in Constructor, so kind of aggressive Priest, probably, um, for sure. But uh, otherwise, the bit is kind of weak, right? And I wish, but I wish though, if you're gonna play aggressive Priest, this was cheaper. Like a less ability and then get this thing earlier would probably be better. But you can refuse him off. Uh, might, might be some kind of aggressive priest coming there. Maybe, maybe. Okay, so the last card here then. We have Uttar, the Ebon Blade. And uh, I was like, oh, is Uttar the Paladin again? <laughs> so I'm playing with Lilandro so that for long. So yeah, so Uttar thing is an insanely heal, heavy thing. Use for that alone, I think it looks great in Arena. Uh, to be honest, use the first thing right away. So with Uttar, you get the, you get the weapon, you get the Ashbringer. Uh, but the Ashbringer has lifesteal, so you can hit them 20 life, you can hit them 3 times and use the face. And actually that's one of the best things here in the arena, is you can hit them 3 times in the face usually with that Ashbringer and give them 15 life damage. Or use fire wine if it's so good, you hit them for also almost at the amount, like 12 damage in the face. And it can be, you should lose even alone, and it's really really annoying to face sometimes. So, this, this reason that looks really good. You have enormous heal, you can kill your mid-sized minions or lower. And you just retain your life. So it's just a weapon, actually. It looks really good, I think, for Arena. And even Ixxon as well, yeah. Exactly, you can heal yourself to one. It looks pretty good, actually. It's a very tanky ability to do. And then his ability, I like this. It's one of the first new win conditions in Arena here. So the ability is that you get the four horsemen, you summon a 2-2 two, two instead of a 1-1. One, one, and when you have four of them, you win the game, right? Because this is the horseman apocalypse. So if you have all of them, famine, uh, is it? Uh, famine, death, War, right? Yeah, and plague. Yeah, pestilence, pestilence. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, pestilence, famine. Yeah, war, that. Yeah, you so you summon those. Uh, you summon each one of them, and then you you win the game. So is this is gonna be possible in arena. Probably very hard, but if it's pretty good though, still arena. You using the weapon, you get that. Always the matter so much, but you can you can kill three minions for them. Three minions are small minions. And don't lose any life. Probably even gain life. You get like a 2d3, you get two life. So, like with true silver, yeah. So you get like a better true silver. Much better. Because true silver is for four, but only has two, right? This is five. So you can just kill them without losing any life points. So you, yeah, it's like a really, really high plus weapon. Uh, and you get uh, fire warmer. Yeah. So like, you from that alone. I think it's good in Arena. It has a lot of value. But then, of course, this also gives you a 2 2 instead of 1 1s. So. That's pretty good. This you double up your your ability in late game there. That's pretty good. And it's, yeah, yeah. I <laughs> said yeah. And if you can't remove it, you win the game. But I don't think it will happen very rarely. But it still forces them to have to remove it. And this gives you some advantage. They have to play a little, uh, you know, in other way, right? And they, they, then they want to have they want to play. So that is good. That is good. Um, so yeah, I think it's actually one of the better ones. Not very impactful you play it out though, um, but I think that the weapon alone makes it good. However though, I'll say that way, Paladin has like both Sunkeeper, which is ridiculous card in Arena, and uh, Tyrion. So I, I would still really play Sunkeeper, I think it's pretty much the best legendary in Arena. 
So you always remove all the small guys, trade up your big guys, do for your run. This why Sosh is good because it's Sun Keepers, right? Um, so I, I'll say probably play Sun Keeper over this. Would I play T Rune over this? Yeah, probably would. T Rune is still like a. You get a minion and then you get Aspring. You get Aspring with Lifeblink. That's good, but I still have to have T Rune. So that being said, I think this is like the third best legendary for Paladin because they have so good legendaries. Paladin has enormously good legendaries. Um, so that, that's good. And last point then, Focus Strike that if we for sure be allowed this deck strike when you play this um, Horseman thing and try to make it work. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next part, part 8, which might be the next last part, I, I think, yeah. So 